Today, guys, I am absolutely honoured to be in front of the new dynamic owner of Jonglers Stand Up Comedy Clubs. Do you know what? I've done a party at Jonglers once. It was rocking. In Bank Holiday, August, about 10 years ago, I smashed it. I was rocking the deck. You know I'm a DJ as well, don't you, Kev? Right? Yes, so I, I do, that. yeah. Anyway, why am I talking to this legend here? Well, he's the new owner of Jonglers. And we got him as a guest speaker for FSB in Bromley on the 16th, isn't it? I get it. Correct. 16th of August. Right. So, Kev, tell us what you're going to, how are you going to wow the audience? Well, I've been invited to the FSB, so I'm here to kind of discuss um, my journey, my, my, my kind of my life from performing arts uh from a very kind of armenian background which is kind of how i started really um you know but both my parents are immigrants from armenia uh and um and i was born in the 70s in the uk in north london and then kind of you know developed my my kind of career in the performing arts really because I wasn't really, I mean, no one else in the family predominantly was a performer at all. I mean, we had a couple of musicians in the family and whatnot, yeah. but I was the one that came out as the comic. So, you know, ha- having that kind of flow and going from being a performer uh, to then really struggling to get into, um, you know, the jongler's yes. comedy circuit. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah easy. completely. So then actually owning the brand um, last year when I, when I purchased it in May 2020. So I've literally taken this journey um on being in the west end doing films tv then going into the stand-up comedy circuit and then ultimately owning not only jonglers but i own uh, three other companies that are all based in the entertainment industry so i've kind of rounded it all up so i'm going to tell you my my kind of journey from from that aspect into where i am now and where i envisage going with all the brands that i've got including jonglers and the innovative um ideas i've got with uh, the comedians that we're sharing the ideas with to try and develop and grow uh jonglers into hopefully uh not only the biggest comedy brand in the uk but the most um uh, trusted as well so i mean your passion is evidently clear you can see i can't i can't shut you up mate you're talking so much about you love it anyway it's a good thing i like that right so it's the right like a rags to riches story isn't it really isn't it yeah not sure about the riches so far. Don't push your hey, luck. You own your own jonglers. You're the king of comedy, mate. Well, <laughs> apparently. But yeah. um, you know what it is? It's, um, oh. you know, the pandemic, it was an absolute nightmare for all of us, yeah. wasn't it, really? So um, for me, it was an overnight dead. That was it. I mean, everything I had for the year in the diary, gone. They're, you're just non-existent. So, you know, it's coming back now. You know, yeah. people like Andrew Lloyd Webber, uh, people like Cameron McIntosh, uh, David Ian, who's now taken over the Kudos brand, you know, they're all trying to bring back um, entertainment in a big way, musicals, drama, pantomime, you know, so yes. it, I feel it's my responsibility to bring back comedy in a very big way. And um, and part of my journey is to actually open up that opportunity to as many venues in the UK as possible yeah. and to bring laughter back. So we are um, very strategic in our approach um, and we're looking, we're looking for venues now, you know, to be able to bring back comedy to, to the audiences all over the country. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's, that's a great crack. And you've got some big plans next year, haven't you? You're going to... Yeah, under yeah, we've got, yeah. Some, uh, we've got some national and international tours kicking off with Jonglers. Yeah. Um, we are predominantly one of the biggest providers of um, uh, comedy to the cruise ship yeah. um, industry and corporate world as well, just bringing, you know, innovative, original, funny, talented, talented um, artists to yes. the uh, corporate world so people can really enjoy booking the right entertainment with us so it's yeah. it's i'm so excited about my business i love what i do i can see that um, that's brilliant and, and, it, and it really does buzz me i'll be honest with yeah, you so i'm good. very excited to see yeah, what 2022 I'm, it's going to be big yeah i can i'm gonna let you into a little secret right Go. so I, I i like comedy myself but i'm one of those instant guys i can't prep comedy so i thought okay. let me take this further and i went to i think it was camden there was a comedy yeah. school i don't know if you heard of it right we had yeah i think they're called jonglers no i could be that one but i i paid and then i went every week for about three weeks and i got fed up with it because it was just too much aggro i just left oh it. really oh that's i not really jongles, considered stand-up comedy at one stage i did I really well, I'm, I, I don't know if you know <laughs> this. I'm actually running a course right now, uh, which you can uh, we, which you can book. It's a three month course yeah. um, on how to do stand up comedy, and ultimately after the after the three months, you get the opportunity to perform in one of our jungles comedy. That's classes. scary. <laughs> That's scary. Whoa, like it. Well, look, 
I mean, I must give you a pre-warning. This event, FSB events, especially the Bromley one, it is all full of warm people. Right. The atmosphere is electric, all on Zoom. I play a few tunes. I well, do that, yeah. Um, and you're going to love it. And I think... Oh, uh, absolutely. To win, you know, you've... You, uh, you know, crack us some jokes as well as tell us your story. And I think it'll be a great event. Do you know what? Go on, I do this for a living, but you tell me your favourite joke. Is it rude? If it's rude, forget it. Uh, do you know what? <laughs> I don't, I'm not really a jokes man. I'm an instant guy. If I see something, really? I crack something. It, it's, it has to happen. A quick think. But if you put me on, on a stage and with a mic, I'll be like, it's... I don't know what to say. <laughs> Be like that. Oh, bless you, mate. Yeah, I'm so I'm like. Yeah, that. a lot of people yeah. don't realise how hard it is actually. It, it's not easy. You need to prep. I mean, there's uh, who's that guy? I really like Asian guy. Oh my god, Chowdhury. Uh, Paul Chowdhury. Chowdhury. Oh my god, what does he has he performed with you? Do you know him? Many times. Paul Chowdhury is one of my very good friends. Oh my word, get get him to come as well. I love his comedy. It's fun. He's, he's awesome. So good. He's so and again, good. he yeah. started from scratch. You know, he started yeah. at the bottom of the ladder and he's worked his way up to the top. He's an yeah. incredibly humble, incredibly inspirational, and, and he manifests his um, his entire <laughs> career. He's brilliant. <laughs> oh God, he, he's, he's he nails it. He's very street smart. Absolutely. Community. He's brilliant. Look, we can go on talking forever. You know. Oh my God, we could talk about comedy. I leave. I might even do. I might even do Come on. a little piano number for you as well. Go for it. Go for it. We'll give you all sharing rights. No problem. right? But look, guys, uh, it's an honour to meet Kev Orkian here, of the owner of Jongler's Comedy <laughs> Store. We have nabbed him for a guest speaker slot. Not the comedy store. Not the comedy store. Oh, sorry. Jonglers. 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 Thank you, pardon. Oh, my God. Uh, do forgive me. So, yeah, the owner of Jonglers, he's going to be uh, our guest speaker uh, for the FSB Bromley uh, event in August. The booking link is in the post above. Press that button. Book. It's going to be an absolute blast. Kevin, need parting words. Parting words will be, I'm so looking forward to seeing everyone. I truly, truly hope that everyone turns up. We get a bundle of people. We, we just will. have a good crack. <laughs> we will. And we'll have a bloody good laugh. That's what it's all about. Oh, it's it? going to be. It's going to be. Well, I'll make sure it's dynamic. Brilliant. Nice meeting you, mate. You too, my brother. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you too. God bless. Bye-bye.